Celtic Myths and Legends by T.W. Rolston Chapter 2 The Celts on... Oh, the religion of the Celts. Okay. Traces of magic and megalithic monuments. The imposing relics of their cult, which the megalithic people have left us, are full of indications of their religion. Take, for instance, the remarkable tumulus of Mana Erhoek in Brittany. This monument was explored in 1864 by M. Rene Gallus, who describes it as absolutely intact the surface of the earth unbroken, and everything as the builders left it. At the entrance to the rectangular chamber was a sculpted slab on which was graven a mysterious sign, perhaps the totem of a chief. Immediately on entering the chamber was found a beautiful pendant in green jasper about the size of an egg on the floor in the center of the chamber was a most singular arrangement, consisting of a large ring of jadeite, slightly oval in shape, with a magnificent axe head, also of jadeite, its point resting on the ring. The axe was a well-known symbol of power, or, as people might say, godhead, and is frequently found in rock carvings of the Bronze Age, as well as in Egyptian hieroglyphs, Minoan carvings, etc. At a little distance from these, there lay two large pendants of jasper, then an axe head in white jade, then another jasper pendant. All these objects were ranged with evident intention and suit, forming a straight line which coincided exactly with one of the diagonals of the chamber, running from northwest to southeast. In one of the corners of the chamber were found 101 axe heads in jade, jadeite, and fibrolite. There were no traces of bones or cinders, no funerary urn. The structure was a cenotaph. Are we not here? Axe Bertrand. In presence of some ceremony relating to the practices of magic and jade is not found in the native state in Europe nor nearer than China and the builders leaving that place uh, review archaeologic uh, T. 12, 1865, Fuilis de René Gallas.